Good morning, my friends. I was almost not gonna start filming this until after I had my coffee because I'm just more myself after I've had my first cup of coffee. But then I realized that I have to include this part because this is part of what I eat in a day, a cup of coffee. Um, as you can tell, I'm not all here yet. But hi, it's Love of the Plug, and I am finally doing a what I eat in a day. This is like one of my highly most most highly requested videos ever, but I guess this will be the pregnancy edition since I, in fact, have a belly with a baby in it. A little one, if you will. Bump check. Bump check. Bump check. There we go. It's like mediocre bump, but whatever. I've never wanted to film one of these because I always thought they were so weird because like what you eat in a day, like I eat different things every day, but I guess it doesn't have to be the same thing every day. I don't know. This will basically be what I ate today on June 23rd. So let's get started. I have been waking up not very hungry recently, like the last few months. So I usually just have my cup of coffee, splash like half an inch of half and half, and I will use a Keurig machine to make myself a cup of coffee. If I try to use another type of coffee, like brew it myself with my French press or use my espresso machine, I feel way too wired. My caffeine sensitivity has dropped so much like it's insane I, i'm honestly so proud of myself but i can't believe it because i was the girl who could like pound tons of lattes and feel totally fine and go to bed right after so this is a whole new role for me i guess this is partially also like morning routine stuff but i'm not gonna eat breakfast for probably like at least an hour and i will spend that time drinking my coffee and writing in my journal. I'm usually so tired that my journal doesn't say anything that important for at this time, but I find that when I wake up and I write instead of going on my phone, I generally feel a lot better. So I've been trying to make this a habit for the last few months and I've been pretty consistent, not like every single single day, but way more consistent than I've been at other times in my life. So I'm proud of myself. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. I'm happy. Okay, I'm gonna go write in my journal about how I have a rash on my boobs because I started using Palmer's cocoa butter because everyone said that I should for stretch marks and yeah, my boobs don't like it very much. But anyways, see you guys in a bit. Oh, how did we get lucky again, dude? <laughs> Watching my own poker streams. <laughs> do not get lucky like this. I swear to God, it does not happen off stream. What the fuck, dude? How did I do that? I'm gonna have to bleep out your video with my video. <laughs> Everyone's been asking me for the last few months what my pregnancy cravings are, and I think I have an official recurring craving, and that craving is for the glorious everything bagel. We've eaten a lot of them in the last two weeks. That's real. That's all that's my craving. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store and I found these less naughty everything bagels that are probably not gonna be anywhere as good as when you get them from the bagel spots, but they're bagel thins and they're like 100 calories, which probably just means I'll eat, end up eating six of them instead of just like one regular bagel, but I'm okay with that. So, I'm gonna stick one of these in the toaster, put some mayo on it, make a couple fried eggs, and put it together in a bacon, egg, cheddar, sandwich and I think it's gonna fall apart because looking at these bagels they're like really small but sounds like a balanced breakfast right oh they smell bagel -y. well oniony actually hey <laughs> I gotta add the bacon and then we can eat. Yeah. Morning mukbang? Let's go. 
You're looking at me like, bitch, hurry up. Yeah. I want to <laughs> eat it and you're over here filming. So it's going to be really messy to eat, just FYI. But this is what it looks like. Here you go, Excellent. sir. How's the diet bagel? Ooh. Good? Good right. enough? Uh. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. I'm pretty happy with this. Mm. Alright, I'm not going to subject you guys to more chewing. I was just going to eat something and then I remembered I'm filming a what I eat in a day. So I have to film it before I can eat it. I worked out for like 45 minutes, simple workout, walking, like, you know, just get my heart rate up a little bit. And I've just been running around my house out ever since that. I'm like deep in organization right now. I have like all this paperwork that I'm just like filing and organizing, making sure bills are paid, blah, 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 you know, boring adult stuff. And I don't want to stop doing it because it's like really, really hard for me to like get in the zone to do boring mundane stuff like this, but I'm like fully in the zone. I'm doing it standing up so that I don't like, you know, like sit down and just like lose my energy. But I really want a snack because it's been how long since breakfast? I ate breakfast at like 10. What time is it? I, I know how to use this Apple Watch for everything, but how to tell time. It's 1.30. I guess I only had breakfast like three and a half hours ago. I don't even wanna have like real food right now. I bought a stash of chocolate when I went to the grocery store yesterday and no guilt, I'm about to have some. So let's go look at my stash. I have to hide my stash from Adam because he gets mad if I don't hide it from him. So, yeah, but it's really easy to hide things from him because he just like, he doesn't look for stuff, you know? Like, he'll be like, I can't find my this. And I look for two seconds and I find it. He's like one of those people. So, yeah. Okay, what did I get? I got this, which I had like a little tiny piece of last night. My Choco Love Dark Peppermint. Peppermint Dark Chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. This store that I went to didn't have like the best selection of chocolate. I just got what they had that I like. Lint Classic Hazelnut. Always a good choice. Orange peel with jerk chocolate from Chocolate Love. Same, no hazelnut. I also, ugh, I love this flavor of chocolate and I never would have thought that I would like, that I would have liked it until I worked as the chocolate person at this grocery store I used to work for. Long story, but I was like the chocolate girl. Anyways, fruit and nut chocolate, like putting raisins in your chocolate, it's actually genius and I really, 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 really love it. So what do I want though? Do I want hazelnuts or do I want dairy milk? I think I'm gonna go for half a bar of this right now. It's obviously not my real lunch. I just like kind of just want something to eat right now and I don't wanna stop paying all my bills and doing like boring things right now. So I'm gonna eat half of one of these, which is not really that nutritious, but I don't care. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my boobs are really itchy. I'm never using that cocoa butter on my freaking body again. It was itchy and then I worked out and then I got way itchier. Ooh, do I really want half a bar? Maybe I'll start with like a third because it's kind of a lot. Sometimes I don't really know what I want. Like being pregnant, I'll be like, oh, I really want blank. And then I'll start eating it. And then I'm like, eh, you don't really want this that much. It's all right. Oh. That was sweet, hurt my teeth right away. Mmm, so good though. Mmm, honestly, raisins are like, okay. Like I like them, I eat them, I'll put them in my oatmeal and stuff, but raisins with chocolate and nuts, mmm, genius. Mmm, 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 mm. I'm happy. Okay, next time you see me, I'll be eating a real proper meal, I promise. So I did this thing again where I didn't eat for too long and now I'm starving. I just like couldn't inter interrupt myself from stopping my work to feed myself and it's a really bad habit and I need to stop. I need to just stop and take care of myself for a moment when I'm hungry instead of just overlooking my hunger cues and not eating. But it's five o'clock and I'm gonna have lunch, which is really not lunchtime. But the thing I'm gonna make is just gonna get prepared really, really fast, so it's okay. What are we eating today? 
some chicken, some lettuce, butter lettuce, cherry tomatoes, Persian cucumber, goat cheese, olives. What else? What else? Oh my god. <gasps> this was not on the menu or not on my plan for right now, but I saw it in the fridge and I'm pretty much shaking, so we're gonna eat it right now. It is Sabra Snackers, which I like never have at my house. I usually will eat one of them on the go, like grab it at a grocery store and leave, but I just happen to have one right now, so oh my god. <sighs> I need to eat this right now before I pass out. I'm being dramatic, but I kind of do feel a little bit shaky. Setting a really bad example. I had chocolate for lunch and not really a proper meal. Don't be a pregnant woman like me. Mm. Mm. What am I gonna make Adam for dinner? Oh, it's for dinner. I don't know. All I ever want was, would be pizza, but not acceptable. Not nutritious enough. Mm. Mm. Yum. Did you guys see that? I dropped my entire hummus and it didn't spill. I really need to sit down right now. Mm. Feeling like a low energy Lena right now. So my current style of eating is that it has to be convenient, but also healthy. If it's not convenient, then I'm probably not gonna eat it and I'm gonna end up ordering food on Postmates, which is not a great choice financially and usually nutrition wise because all the healthy options on Postmates. I'm just like so over it and they're boring to me. But you can make fast, easy, healthy meals at home. And I'm gonna show you one. Hopefully you like the stuff I put in my salads because I like them. I know not everybody likes olives, but you can take olives out if you want. I actually hated olives. I just kept trying them until I liked them because everybody else liked them. And I thought they must be onto something if they like them, right? These ones have pits in them, which I did not mean to buy with the pits because it makes it less convenient. And if it's less convenient, I'm less likely to eat it, but it's okay, I'm gonna figure it out. You guys, I don't know what the hell's gotten into me. This happened yesterday and today. I just don't have a really big appetite. And um, I actually had to like force feed myself extra protein yesterday because you have like an amount that you have to hit as a pregnant person so that you can be getting like proper nutrients or whatever. And I was not needing that last night and I was like, chewing on this steak like oh i don't want to chew on it i don't want to eat it anymore but i have to for baby but i'm like really full right now off of this i mean 370 calories i guess that's like substantial but yeah rolled gold pretzels and hummus i think that i'm going to have to wait till dinner to show you guys my salad chicken combination I don't know, I don't know, what, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been also like exercising more the last few days, so I feel like I should be way hungrier, you know? If this video doesn't turn out right, I might have to just refilm tomorrow. Says so she full, she's full, keeps eating almonds. I'm back. Uh, this has probably been the worst day for me to do a what I eat in a day. Today is just like not a good representation of like how I normally eat, even though I don't eat the same thing every single day, especially in my pregnancy. I want variations in my meals. I want variety, but um, yeah, I just didn't really eat that much today and I eat a lot normally. I eat too much normally, but is it that thing where you like try to do something so then you can't do it? Like if you try to fall asleep, then you can't try to eat a lot and then you can't, I don't, I don't know, this doesn't make any sense. These are not salty enough. Anyways, I'm making a salad. Let me show you what goes in my salad. Salad bowl. Get these butter lettuce packs. They are really convenient because they, it says right on the box. Washed three times. I don't have to wash anything, thank God. So last night I made myself a salad using the full package and 
Normally I can eat that much, but I couldn't finish it. So I'm just gonna use half and save the rest for later. I have no brand deals with this company, but I really like them because if you don't finish it, you can just put it back on. Look at that. They do take a lot of space in my fridge because they're not like, they'd be easier to store if they were in bags, but whatever. Okay, what else do I have going on in my salad? Ooh, I cut up some cherry tomatoes. I sliced one Persian cucumber. These Kalamata olives are not pitted, so they're cut all weird because I literally have to like scrape around the seed with my knife. Those go in my salad. I don't normally do this, but when I order salads, especially like Greek type salads with the tangy tastes and flavors, I really like garbanzo beans on them. So I got a can of garbanzo beans. I really don't like canned stuff, but we're just gonna go for it today. I'm gonna pour like, I don't know. Oh, that's a lot. I didn't mean to pour that much. Well, that's a lot, whatever. Um, garbanzo beans in my salad. And what else goes in here? Oh, goat cheese. I kind of don't want to put these almonds in my salad because we already have one thing that's like this color, but this is also for crunch. If I wasn't lazy, I would like smash these more and cut them up because they're kind of big for a salad, but whatever. I'll put on some olive oil balsamic dressing to bring it all together. Oh my God, I feel like a real cooking show person, host, cook, chef. Don't go too hard. Oh, you're so beautiful. You are such a pretty. Salad. Can always add more. I make that mistake sometimes. I forget that. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? Okay, really? I just want to eat all that. But, like I said, baby in the belly, right here. While embarrassing, I put on the same outfit for dinner that I woke up in. I like to wear my sleeping clothes two days in a row. I hope that's not gross. Anyways, baby needs protein, so I have to cook up some chicken right now because you know I just I need protein extra protein so gonna do that my recipe is super simple basic boring I don't care I sliced up my chicken breast I put salt and pepper on the chicken breast and then I also added this Bragg organic sprinkle with 24 herbs and spices kind of a basic simple great go-to I'm going to saute it in my pan and eat it with my salad might just put it on the side because I don't like when my salad gets like really hot. It's kind of gross. Simple, easy, what, 10 minutes to prep all this stuff? Just sauteing up my chicken. When I opened this package of chicken, I thought it smelled like rotten, like it had gone bad. And I freaked myself out. But the truth is that I think everything smells bad right now. Like pregnancy will do that to you. And it's basically in my head, which sucks because I want to be able to trust my senses. If I wake up puking tomorrow, my senses were in fact right. But yeah, I tend to think that everything just doesn't smell good. It's kind of annoying. Really basic, really simple. Not gonna use all that chicken. Probably will have like a third or half of it. I'm gonna have the rest when he comes home. What else will I eat in my day? I think later on, maybe a couple hours from now, I will have some fruit. I usually eat fruit at night before I go to bed and I take all my vitamins, which I hate because they all feel like they get stuck right here in my chest, all my prenatals. Everything feels like it gets stuck in your chest. It's part of the thing, it's part of one of the things that like encourage you not to eat too much in pregnancy because you just kind of feel like so full and you get like heartburn and just acid reflux. I feel like it's like way worse in pregnancy. I don't have it that bad, but I know that as I get bigger and all my organs are all squished together, it's gonna get worse. I feel like I should cover this so that it could like steam a little bit and not get so dry. We did it guys, it's finally time for dinner. And it's 8.30, which is kind of later than I'd like to eat dinner. I really like to eat dinner at like 7, 7.30 only because if I go to bed too soon after I eat my meal, don't really feel that great. I feel like I can't really sleep that well. But this is a pretty light meal. The salad looks massive, but I'm gonna put it down. It's beautiful. Look at that, look at all those pretty colors. I gotta stir it up. I made my chicken. Chicken, chicken breast, really not that exciting, especially if it's not fried. So I found some peanut sauce in my cabinet that I've actually never used. And I think I'm just gonna dip. All right, let's try it. 
Who doesn't like sugar on their meat, right? Mmm. That was good. Mmm. Yeah, now I definitely want to eat the meat. I was a little bit concerned about eating before just because I was not in the mood, which is just like such a pregnancy thing of me. Like, what? what? Ew. Like, why, how could I not be in the mood to eat chicken? It's just chicken. Anyways, I'm so messy. I'm going to sit here and eat my salad and chew loud and be gross and not subject you guys to watching it because I want you to like me. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Did I do okay? I haven't really watched any what I eat in a day because I personally don't find them interesting, but it is one of my most highly requested videos ever. I don't understand. Help me understand in the comments, but yeah. I do a good job, but you mean A plus? But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day on purpose. Eat your greens and uh, enjoy life and be safe. Bye.